What's up guys? So today I'm doing the review on my Aspire Nautilus uh, vape here and I got this in Canada and I think it was uh, Aspire Premium or something they called it on the website I bought it from. It costs around $78 Canadian uh, so the equivalent would be probably $55 or maybe $60 American. Um, it came with five extra uh, atomizers atomizers are atomizers are the uh, thing that makes the vapor in here so after about uh, one to two maybe three weeks depending on how much you're using these things they kind of die out and they kind of get a little uh, burnt taste so you do have to change it and if you're going to be buying them from uh, Canada or America you'll want to buy extras to be changing them here so I see the Spire Nautilus uh, mini setup is a really good uh, setup for someone to get into vaping but also kind of wants a little customizability to it because it goes from I believe 3.3 uh, volts all the way up to 4.8 volts and I'll give you a little show of 3.3 uh, which is just like a minimum vapor see not too much so you can also customize the airflow so if uh, certain certain flavors of vapes taste better with certain airflows I found so if you want to change it up so you got lots of airflow or minimum airflow you have that ability so that was 3.3 uh, volts and we'll go up to 4.8 volts which is the highest and the most vapor See a lot more vapor and it also depends on the vape you're using too like it makes it much warmer when you're using 4.8 compared to 3.3 um, and I found some of my vapes I'm using taste much better when it's warmer some of them taste better when they're colder so for example the one I'm using right now is the uh, Mother Teresa uh, like strawberry flavored one but I also, my favorite so far I found was this warm crumble pie and I found this one's way better on a higher volt. Uh, if you get it nice and hot it tastes really really good uh, and compared to this one I like on a more lower volt like 4.3 or 3.8. So to anyone out there trying to quit smoking I highly recommend one of these things. Uh, you can get lower models with not so much customization like I said, this is like a beginner intermediate model. Uh, you can get some vape pens that just uh, you press a button and they vape. They're not really customizable at all, but they all work. And uh, But also the more you pay, the better quality, uh, I guess, material and it kind of tastes a little bit better. I've used vape pens that weren't customizable at all. All you did was just suck on it and it automatically makes the vapor for you. And those weren't really as good as this at all. Like the vapor just didn't taste as good. The nice thing about these vape setups is you can change up the tank. So if you want a bigger tank or a different kind of tank, you can switch that up if it uh, is allowed to go on your battery. So my tank on here is the Aspire Nautilus Mini and uh, it's pretty much made with it, comes with it. And uh, you can get bigger ones, but I kind of went with this one because I didn't really want that big and to use all my vape up. I kind of wanted to go slow on the vaping. So I would definitely recommend getting one of these vape setups if you are trying to quit smoking. It really helped me a lot. I found that uh, quitting smoking for me was about probably 85% just the act of breathing in the vapor or the smoke or whatever and having something in your hand, uh, just puffing on something, you know, when you're just sitting there drinking or whatever and it really, really helps. So my vapes are actually zero milligrams nicotine. There's no nicotine in this. So these vapes I'm using here, the JJ Juice Strips, are 60% vegetable glycerin and 40% propylene glycol. And out of all the mixes and vapes I've used so far, I haven't really used too many, but I like this kind of mix the most. Uh, when it's like 50-50 mix, it kind of has a stronger taste. I guess it makes better clouds, but I think I like the, the vegetable glycerin mix more so maybe an 80 20 mix would even be better i kind of want to get my hands on some of those so i want to talk about like getting a vape system in the philippines compared to getting one in america or canada or europe or something 
So I think there's more stricter regulations and stuff when you're getting them from the West compared to here. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say there's a lot, a lot of fake China stuff here, fake uh, vape pens. They try to do knockoffs of like the same thing, but it's not the same material and cheaper material. And some people say it's hazardous, makes them cough. I've heard stories where they get weird bumps in their lips and stuff like that. And it doesn't sound good at all. Also, I've heard a lot of the e-juices are all Chinese e-juices and some say they can't be trusted. I don't know, I've never even tried them here. I don't really wanna try. Uh, I think what I'll do is just order some up from Canada or something and just have it shipped over here, which is probably the easiest thing to do. And when you buy a vape setup in Canada or America or the West, you get like a scratch certificate. So you scratch it and you punch in the numbers in the internet and it tells you if it's real or if it's fake. So that's kind of a way you can tell from the Chinese ones from the real ones. So I would highly recommend if you're coming to the Philippines, definitely buy a vape setup beforehand and buy a bunch of e-juice. So get the 30 milliliter or 100 milliliter bottles and bring over quite a few, I would say. I kinda didn't really have that much money to spend on vape juices. So I only brought enough for a couple months. Uh, I should have brought a little bit more because I'm probably going to have to order some up and have it shipped here and who knows how long that's going to take or how much that's going to cost because I'll probably have to use DHL which has been the fastest shipping I've seen in the Philippines but it's, it's costly. And that way when you're buying it from America, Canada, Europe or some, you know what you're getting, you know it's not a Chinese knockoff and you know where the juices is being made and it's just definitely safer. I was actually watching a documentary, a Canadian documentary on this and there's actually doctors in Europe who are now prescribing these to help people quit smoking and they see it as a much safer alternative. So to me that's definitely a good sign that these aren't like just as deadly or bad for you or something because I've noticed no weird uh, bumps in the mouth or my lungs feel a lot better because I'm not breathing in actual smoke. They've actually done tests where they like uh, have vape being pumped into machines nonstop for like days and days and nothing really builds up because it's all just like uh, water vapor and stuff pretty much. So compared to regular smoke, your lungs probably look much, much worse with regular smoke. So yeah, for around $55 to $60 American, $75 Canadian, you can get a very decent setup. It tastes really good. Uh, the battery lasts about a day, depending on how much you're puffing. For me, a full tank, if I'm going pretty strong on it, puffing a lot all day long, uh, one tank will last for a whole day. Um, maybe if you go out drinking or something and you're puffing nonstop, then you might have to refill it. But I found that this uh, two milliliter tank does very well for me. An important thing about the atomizers, once you change them, they last about two to three weeks, depending on how much you're smoking. But uh, a good thing to know is you need to prime them, so you need to put a couple drops of juice in it before you actually screw it on. And that way everything's nice and juiced up. And if you don't, it'll fry it right away. I guess the battery just kills it and it'll taste like burnt liquid right away. So something to watch out for if you wanna get one of these but I'm very impressed with it. I really like this thing. It's actually been dropped off the bed a couple times, fell on the cement floor, and it survived. It never cracked, so it's definitely nice and strong and sturdy. Um, pretty impressed with it, and I would highly recommend one of these. So again, this is the Aspire Mini Nautilus setup. It's about two years old technology. Everyone else seems to be going for the big box mods and stuff like that. I didn't really want something big and bulky, just something really simple to put in the pocket. Feel like kind of like a cigarette and easy to puff on and a little bit more discreet than the big boxes and the big smoke clouds you blow with them. But uh, really impressed with this. If you guys want to go check it out, I recommend it. I'll put some links in the description below. And until next time, guys, peace out, stay safe, and quit smoking.